we're in a really interesting time in the in the evolution of business right now and and with the planet as well you know there are a lot of forces pushing companies to go green and they're very powerful it's a it's a trend that is um, unavoidable and by and large it's two things it's the natural world resource constraints that we're seeing and stakeholders which is sort of a fancy way of saying all of us every company is facing the same dilemma which is how do we do what we do and create a quality of life and also be economically viable IBM created an initiative, uh, Big Green. They set aside some people, some time, and some money, some real money, to try to solve environmental problems. When we send an email or we visit a website, that consumes energy because it requires servers. And IBM is doing its part to lower the energy consumption and the cooling costs of those servers. IBM's project Big Green is a $1 billion effort, and it's a new name for something we've been doing for several years. It's focusing on our customers' problems, and those are the energy consumption of our systems and the ecological impact of those servers. For the longest time, environment has been about the companies that are obviously impacting the environment, ones who use basic resources, oil, and energy, forest, paper, you know. But it's really evolved now to the companies that are even in service businesses that didn't think they had an impact. And this applies to information technology companies and media companies who thought, you know, we don't have a smokestack, so we don't have an environmental impact. There's been studies that have come out lately that show that the total emissions, greenhouse gases, from information technology is equivalent to the emissions from aviation industry. That's been shocking to most people. It was shocking to me, frankly. I don't know the answers to how much the energy consumption is, but we know it's in the order of tens of millions of dollars for each one of these companies per year. It's becoming clear now that we all have an impact. There's a footprint in everything we do. Every search we do, every email we send, goes through some massive server farm somewhere. And we're realizing now that those are some of the biggest energy users in the world. AISO.net is the only 100% solar powered hosting company in the world. We have clients, big and small, all over the world that come to us because we're environmentally friendly. One thing that's really helped us is IBM. They've been fantastic, great partner with us. Their servers are, are top notch. They use very little power. Put that along with the virtualization that we're doing and it's made a big impact. We've eliminated 200 servers from physically running down into five. Our 120 solar panels power our data center, it powers our business, and it powers our houses right next door. We have no bills for electricity. And plus, it's the right thing to do. Clearly, we're going to need more computing capacity. We double the number of transistors every year and a half. That's Moore's Law, right? And we want more things. We want videos now, not just music in our pocket, not just 10,000 songs in our pocket everywhere we go. This is going to require an enormous amount of energy. So we better figure out a way to do that using a lot less resource and a lot less energy to do the same amount of entertaining. Recently at an environmental event, the very wise Thomas Friedman said something that really stuck with me. You know, he said, look, look, people, it's not about the whales anymore. Every time you look in the mirror, you're looking at an endangered species. So it's actually about saving our way of life, saving our economy, and saving and, pro and providing a quality of life for what's going to be 9 or 10 billion people on this planet. And for me, the problem is so big that we can only do it all together, every sector of, of the economy. And that means the business community. And I truly believe the business community is going to have to lead this charge.